All right, we're over here finishing up our last set of hats that we're pressing on with our new giraffe heat press that we just ordered from Amazon a few days ago. Uh, just found out this, this uh, heat press normally is $270, and the boy Frank over here got it for $170. $170. There was a coupon. I clipped it, used it, and so far, I can say that we are happy with this purchase. You know, so it did smoke in the beginning, so I don't know if that's... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Got a little gassed out. You know, so we don't know what that's from. We don't know if we're gonna uh, acquire some sort of something later on, but it's working and it's working um, yeah. pretty well. Shout out Giraffe for the cancer if we get it, but so far your, uh, your product's working pretty good. <laughs> so if you guys are in the market for a heat press, go on to Amazon. This is the one that you wanna look for. Uh, we've only used this thing for a couple days now. This is our first oh. time actually doing a patches with the heat press so um the well, technically reason, we haven't had it for 24 hours yet technically you want to be realistic technically we haven't <laughs> had it for 24 hours but <laughs> needless to say the boys were in a bind we were working on all these hats right here we were gonna do some embroidery for these patches but it just ended up not being able to put it to the center that we were happy with so we decided to go with sublimation from heat transfer warehouse uh super color uh, heat transfers and those worked out really well. And then this is our first time doing patches as well. We're pretty happy with them. We're gonna probably go over down to Racoma and do a class that they offer so we can um, just learn how to do stuff better. But so far we're pretty happy with how these things are turning out. Yeah, the reason we decided to go with the sublimation was because there's too much detail. There's too much detail in this design, so trying to stitch that out was just a nightmare yeah so and frank's been the one that's been digitizing for us over on that side of things and he put a lot of work in we got it i think we paid for it right we, we paid for it and it didn't do its justice and um then we tried to fart around with it and it still no 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 go to where we know the customer wouldn't be happy yeah. they might accept it but we don't we don't put out shysty products out here no we're trying to try to especially just starting off you want to make a good impression with new new customers and uh so far it seems like it's working pretty well for us we've been pretty busy we uh also just knocked out some uh some jerseys that we're doing for an adult league softball tournament this weekend so once again we got the Heat transfer warehouse, super color. We did the, uh, we did it, we've tried the different one with these ones, so it's not the wearable, but it's the, it's a little bit, supposed to be a little bit better for polyester stretching material, but love how it came out. And then we got our, the backs, we ordered these from, yes, I believe, Heat Transfer Express. So we we're able to get all the names, the numbers in a package for, I don't know, like 30 bucks. And then we put our, logo right there our website ridge.gg you guys can check that out if you're watching this video uh, we will be posting a separate video on how we made these jerseys so keep an eye out for that or it might be out before that and then this is just a little design that we had an extra shirt so we decided to make our own stack days little workout shirt got the american flag on the side and then as well as our branding right there so uh, anyways that's gonna probably do it for this review if you guys got any questions about this comment down below we'll make sure to let you know if there's anything that uh, ends up happening with this heat press for the hats yep um, it's got a nice dial setup that takes a little bit to get used to but once you figure it out it's not too bad yeah so if you want to set it I th we think we figured it out I'm just gonna mess with it right now so you guys can see it so if you want to set it so if you start spinning it to the left it's for your seconds you gotta wait for it to do its thing. Let's just set it for 10, since that's as long I'm keeping everything in. Now, if you wanna set the temperature, then you gotta spin to the right. Just wait till it flashes, and then you turn. So yeah, I guess I got it right. I got it figured out now. So everything has been good with this thing. Uh, only thing we have to complain about is the smoke that came off, but I think that uh, Hopefully it's just burning some off. It's probably just burning some stuff off there from the factory. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we hope, but that's gonna do it for the review. The Giraffe Auto Hat Heat Press Machine. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the boys. 
We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.